guys, Chuk here at Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. I wanted to talk about long range hunting and the ethics behind it. And I've got a couple ideas, uh, a couple things where I think it would be appropriate to do it and other times where obviously it would not be appropriate. Now, first of all, you gotta know your rifle, you gotta know your reticle. I was lucky enough to take the precision rifle course here in Alaska. Um, you know, Mark runs it with Sniper's Hide, and that was just a lot of fun. I, I learned a lot. I was able to hit a, you know, steel plate at a thousand yards. We recently went out, and I shot my 308 out to 680 yards. There's a guy uh, that had a video that, uh, you know, they had a 6.5 Creed board, and they were taking thousand yard shots at a caribou or encouraging each other to and to me that's just unethical it's it's ridiculous now the farthest i might go out is is 600 yards or a little more than that because i'm pretty comfortable with with the reticle i have i feel like i can hit targets very easy at that range you know but my cutoff would probably be 650 yards or so um, the reason I would do that is because these hunts I go on are way out in the mountains. I, kn I know what's behind me. I'm usually glassing for a long time. I know what's behind the animal. I'm not going to sh shoot towards somebody. And it's also a subsistence hunt. We're strictly hunting for meat. There are large numbers of these caribou. And I've taken long shots before, you know, nothing over four, 450 yards. But to me, that was pretty long. One painful thing about taking a shot that long in the mountains is it took me hours to find my animal. At 450 yards, you know, I had this Remington 700 308 with the Aces chassis, a big Mark IV scope on there, and I easily took a caribou at 400 yards, but there's all these gullies and dips in the mountain. I was up high, and it, it literally took me three hours to even find that animal. You just get turned around, even with GPS, trying to find your way. So that's something you got to think about too, is, is know your landscape, know your land. Now, if I was in the lower 48, like back on you know grandpa's farm in New York, obviously I'm not going to take a 500 yard shot at a whitetail. To me, that would be unethical and dangerous in that area. Um, if you're doing some trophy hunting, you know, sometimes you have to take a longer shot because you will literally spook the animals if you get too close out of the tree line. So you really got to use your judgment. Um, but I wouldn't suggest doing long range hunting on purpose just for the sake of doing long range hunting. If I'm going to reach out for a very long shot, it's usually out of desperation for meat. And if I've judged the area and think I can make the shot, ethically and soundly and you know kill that animal and harvest it at a longer range i may try uh, but you you really have to make that conscious choice think about it and not just go out and say oh i'm going to shoot at a thousand yards no one should be really hunting at a thousand yards i think a standard hunting rifle can easily reach out to five six hundred yards and that's about my limit uh, but when you look at the landscape that is a really long ways and you got to know know your reticle know the wind what the wind's doing and practice go out in the field and practice like we did shooting at targets that far so i do think it is ethical to do some long range hunting but not much farther than 600 yards uh, i know there's guys out there doing more uh, you know maybe if somebody's an expert and they're out in an open mountain above the the tree line farther than that would be appropriate. I don't know, I'd, I probably wouldn't do it, but I'd like to hear from you. What do you guys think about long range hunting? Thanks guys, it's Chu, your friend in the field. My name is Chu.